Currently, the largest living creature in the water is the blue whale. In fact, if we compare the blue whale with all other creatures on Earth, it would still be the largest. Our Earth is about 450 million years old. And is the blue whale the only largest living species in such a long time? By the way, would it be incorrect to call the blue whale a fish because it is a mammal species? According to fish species, the great white shark is currently the largest fish. They can reach lengths of about 15 to 20 feet. Just as dinosaurs existed on Earth millions of years ago, there was also a species of shark in the past known as the Megalodon. The Megalodon ruled the seas around 3 million years ago. Its length was 60 feet, and its jaw was about 3 meters long, significantly larger than a human body. The Megalodon had approximately 270 sharp teeth in its jaw. Its jaws had teeth arranged in 5 rows, and the length of these teeth ranged from 3 to 7 inches. And you would be surprised to know that if a Megalodon lost a tooth in an accident, it would take only 1 to 2 days for a new tooth to grow back. The pressure that the Megalodon created when it clamped down on its prey was about 10 tons, which could easily break the shell of a turtle. Their weight was around 100 tons. The Megalodon shark was so large that it needed to consume a massive amount of food every day. According to scientists, the Megalodon needed to consume about one ton of food every day, which it fulfilled by eating marine creatures like the blue whale and the great white shark. Megalodon babies weighed between 2 and 3 tons and measured about 10 feet in length. They were born in areas of the ocean where the water volume volume was quite high, as these fish required a large amount of water to survive. For this reason, the Megalodon did not hunt near the shore because these creatures were very large and a decrease in water level was equivalent to a life-threatening danger for them. So despite being such a large and powerful species, how did the Megalodon become extinct? Especially since the extinction of creatures like the dinosaurs was also linked to a massive asteroid. But what exactly happened to the Megalodon? The cause of the Megalodon's extinction is still not clearly understood today. Many theories have been proposed regarding their extinction, but one theory that is considered the most ideal is the one I am about to explain. According to this theory, over time, new species of marine creatures began to emerge due to evolution, and the number of fish in the ocean started to increase rapidly. These smaller fish were being eaten by larger sharks. Although the megalodon was very large in size, its population was significantly lower than that of the great white shark, and it was during this time that the population of the great white shark was rapidly increasing. Around 3 million years ago, the temperature of most parts of the ocean was quite cold, and warm weather conditions were ideal for the survival of the megalodon. It was very difficult for the megalodon to live in cold areas, so as the cold increased, the megalodon moved to warmer regions of the ocean. However, the fish remained in the cold areas, and for some time, there were very few small fish in the warmer regions. This means that the megalodon species was running out of food, and when the megalodon was hungry, it would even eat its own young. This is how the megalodon species became completely extinct. But the biggest question that arises here is whether the megalodon still exists on this earth, as there have been incidents in recent years that raise a significant question. Even after the extinction of the megalodon, in a marine expedition in 1875, two teeth of the megalodon were found, and carbon dating revealed that these teeth might be around 10,000 years old. However, the megalodon went extinct millions of years ago, so how could these teeth be only 10,000 years old? In addition, in 2009, a documentary on the History Channel showcased a mission to find a shark in the Gulf of California. The locals claim that there is a very large shark present there that is rapidly eating the fish in the area. And according to them, this shark would have been 45 feet long. If this is true, then it would definitely not be an ordinary great white shark, as they typically reach a maximum size of only about 20 feet. But the surprising thing is that the channel's team has been unsuccessful in finding such a large fish. There is still disagreement among scientists regarding the existence of the megalodon. However, most people believe that the megalodon went extinct millions of years ago, and in recent years, the incidents related to the megalodon that we have heard about worldwide, or the images we have seen on the internet, are either fake or merely a figment of people's imagination. It is nearly impossible to say, with 100% certainty, whether a species is completely extinct or not, as there have been many marine creatures that scientists declared extinct only to later be proven wrong, as happened with the fish known as the coelacanth. The coelacanth was a fish that went extinct about 65 million years ago, but it was found in 1938 along the coast of South Africa, having survived since the time of the dinosaurs. In addition, the megamouth shark is a species of shark that is about 7 meters long, but the 
surprising thing is that before 1976, scientists were not even aware that such a shark existed on Earth. Many of you may have heard of the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest place in the world. According to scientists, there may be such strange species of creatures there that we might not even be able to imagine. Even in this modern time period of the 21st century, we have only been able to properly understand just 5% of the ocean, and we have no idea what could be happening in the remaining 95%. The ocean is so vast that finding even a single microscopic organism is extremely difficult. So could the megalodon still exist in those 90% unexplored regions of the ocean? So, what is your opinion on this matter? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell as I bring such videos every week. I will see you in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.